This is bad. This is really bad. Hey, let's not, um... You know, uh, what are we gonna do? We're fucked. We're, we're really fucked. Yeah, it's over, my boy. We don't even know what's out there. Who's that? Hey. Oh shit. Where the fuck is Chris Hackett? Who's that? Who's there? Is that Laura? Need your help. Please. Who are you? My name is Laura Kearney. Oh, so, it is Laura. Don't let me in. It's not safe out here. Uh yeah, there's a crazy woman with a gun killing people. I'm not Killing people. Holy shit, you Laura Kearney, you're Laura Kearney? Yes. You were supposed to be working uh helping out in the nurse's office, right? And you never showed up? Uh, you and the guy, what's his name? Max? Yes, Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Hackett said that you had changed your mind last minute. I, I think that we should I think that we should listen to her. Let her in, let her in. Okay, I'm gonna open the door slowly. Just keep your hands up, okay? Okay. Dang, that's crazy. I let Abby go. That's crazy. I'm sorry, I don't. Here we are again. Just you and me. Why don't we take another look at what you've found? The moon, how poignant tonight of all nights to harness your fear and anxiety and turn them into intuition. If you can do this and plan ahead, your cunning might just save your life. Now tell me, would you like to delve deeper into one of many possible futures? Okay, so it's gonna give us basically what happened. Off you go then. Top top. One down, remember. It's not terribly exciting. So, uh, why didn't you come? Where have you been for the past two months? We did come. One night early. That was our mistake. Oh, he's still alive. Come here. Come on. Get in there. Fucking do it. Oh, what just happened? She passed back out.
What have you done to Max? Shut up. You can't just- Shut up! This is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. <clears throat> Name. Laura Kearney. Who are you traveling with? And what is your relationship? Max Brindley, he's my boyfriend. Where were you headed last night? To Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. You already know this. What have you done with Max? No. I ask, you answer. That's how this works. Oh, uh, how should we move? Let, let's just be compliant. Fine. What do you want to know? Oh. Well. Uh, why are we going to Hackett's Quarry last night? Max and I are camp counselors. Oh, bullshit. Counselors aren't due until today. I told you, we drove up and got there early. We figured we'd just go to camp. Why didn't you go to the motel like I told you? Because we were like... Way closer to the camp, and we're broke. Mm -hmm. Guess that sheriff's badge doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't believe in the law. Excuse me? We didn't do anything. You locked us up. Explain that to me. Lady, I don't think you have any idea what kind of shit you just stepped into. There is shit, and then there's shit. Please, will you just stop fucking around with me and tell me what the fuck is going on? What the hell attacked us last night, and why did you arrest us, you goddamn maniac? Take me to Max! Right now! What is he doing? Nah, we just be complying. It is what it is. Let's go. Oh, he's still alive. Hey, you asshole! Do I tell us what the fuck's going on? Max! I know you hear me! Okay? Are you serious? You just left me to fucking die, Lord. Do you really care if I'm okay? God. I don't know what to say, Max. I I was terrified out of my mind. I I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I can't expect you to think clearly in a situation like well, whatever that was. I'm sorry. I'll get over it. Laura? Yeah? Why am I naked? What? I mean, after we got attacked, the next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell and you're gone. And now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood and stuff everywhere. I mean, what the fuck happened? I was kind of hoping you could tell me what happened. I feel like I remember bits and pieces, but none of it makes any sense. Yeah, same. I, I feel like... Were we drugged? I feel like maybe we were drugged. By a cop? 
Do they do that? Who does this guy think he is? Well, Sheriff of North Kill, apparently. North Kill? Yeah. Max! What? Did you even look at the map? Hackett's Quarry in North Kill. That's the town. Oh. And it gets better. I gotta look at his name badge and... Oh, here you go. Get dressed. What's he giving you? I'm not gonna be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Did I say you could talk to each other? I wasn't aware we needed your permission, Detective Dick Whippet. <laughs> yeah, it's a free country, Officer Oat. For brains. Shit. All right, buddy. Hands through the bars. Come on. Your turn. Oh, I got the question. Right anywhere we can talk right here. Come on. Hey, hey. Let's get the fuck off. Come on. Move. Good boy. Hey! Stop struggling! Hey! Leave him alone! Yeah, leave me alone, asshole. Both of you shut up! Fuck you! I said shut up! Hey! Hey, you can't treat us like this! You're hurting it! Hey! something in here you can use while the town of North Kill lay there sleeping the hag in the woods started weeping as the bodies decay the wolves hunt their prey and the sheriff continues his creeping ew Spoon? What's this? Not a chance. I need some sort of lever. Better not put your hand through there. Shit, man, I bruise easily. Give me a break. Hey, the second we get out of here, you're toast, motherfucker. Sure. <laughs> second you get out. The fuck is that supposed to mean?
Fuck! Son of a binky bucky. Are you okay? It's just a foot. It'll heal. I meant the interrogation. Oh. Yeah. Can't break old Max. Many have tried, many have failed. I'm being serious, Max. He just... He asked a lot of dumb questions. All right, I don't know. Would you get off my back? Jeez, I'm sorry. Oh, hey, did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whippet? It's Hackett. Sheriff Hackett. You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh my god, like THE Chris Hackett? Yeah. Who's THE Chris Hackett? As in camp leader Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? Man. Last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean, though? You know? Were we set up? Maybe it's some... kind of crazy camp counselor kidnapping ring. That's... I mean... What? Like, some kind of setup, a, a, a trap. I don't know. Chris Hackett and Sheriff Hackett, there's no way that's a coincidence. Okay. They must be related. Well, what does that prove? They knew we were coming. Maybe it's some kind of kidnapping, extortion, conspiracy. That's a pretty big job. I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. I don't know. What if we can't make sense of it? What? Well, you we have to. Sometimes things just don't make sense. What then? We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives? This isn't forever, Max. You can't just hold us here forever. You didn't seem too convinced of that. You gotta stay positive. You can't think like that. Why not? Might as well just accept it, right? No, fuck that. Think about the rest of the summer, Max. And school? I mean, I've been dreaming about becoming a vet since I was five years old. I'm not gonna let this fleabag fuckface stop me. We're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna study to be a vet, and you're... gonna, um... What? I'm gonna what? I saw the letter, Max. What are you talking about? The rejection letter for college. I found it in your bag. You were poking around in my stuff? I can't believe you didn't tell me. I was embarrassed. Wait, your grades were good and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. Fuck! You've been making plans, Max, what the fuck? I don't know, what do you want me to say? I'm sorry, Max, this, this really sucks. Hey, it's not the worst thing to happen this summer. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have kept it from you. You know you can talk to me about anything, right? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Now we just dug down, yeah. Okay, let's just focus on getting out of here for now. Great. Sign me up. 
We need to go over it from the beginning. Like from when we left home? Like from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into the... Whatever we ran into? Yeah. Actually... Yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. The dude acted super weird when we said we almost hit an animal, you remember that? It was like he already knew or something. Yeah. Yeah, that was really sketchy. What if he's not even a real cop? That's what I was thinking. Well, he's gotta be dirty, but... I mean, I think he's a real cop. We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, but there's like... Nobody else around. Yeah, that is concerning. Especially the whole hack it hack it thing. Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead, there's nobody there, and we get attacked by something, and then the cop shows up. That part's all fuzzy for me. Like, I, I remember the steps and a smell like wet fur and a a dog collar with the name Ian on it. Ian? Ian. I don't think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was, was big. Like, person-sized big. Yeah, it really did a number on you. Like, I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like, like, like I vividly remember the thing's teeth ripping into you. What is messed up about that is... Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. What? Hey, okay, so weird question. Do you remember... before we got lost? You got lost? Well, yeah, but before that, I was all like, whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods, and you were all like, yeah, no shit, Max, it happens once a month. Yeah, so? Right, so, you know, full moon. Yeah. What if, uh... Okay, no, stop. I'm just saying, you know, maybe there's a slight chance it was a werewolf. Are you out of your...